up guys, Sal here. So with less than a month to go for the Galaxy Note 20 unpacked event, we got our very first hands-on photos of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra courtesy of Jimmy is promo. And no, it isn't in the subway this time for obvious reasons. Along with the images, we also have some details about the handset. First up, the camera bump is huge, I mean literally huge, and there's a good reason for that. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is going to be one of the slimmest devices out there currently with a thickness of 7.6mm. The Galaxy S20 Ultra on the other hand is a really thick device at 8.8mm and because of that it doesn't feel good in the hand. Not to mention it's too heavy. When you hold the S20 Ultra and Note 10 Plus simultaneously, the Note 10 Plus feels so much better in every aspect. So I'm glad the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is going to be a thin device, even thinner than the Note 10 Plus. But as a result, we're getting this huge abomination at the back. But that's fine, I guess, because you can't have both ways. Next up, the front image shows the camera cutout and it's smaller than the one on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. To be exact, 1mm smaller. Ice Universe did a side-by-side -side comparison and you can actually see the difference in hole diameter. Interestingly, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra looks more squarish than the Note 10 Plus, which is good because, in my opinion, boxy-looking phones are more aesthetically pleasing to the eyes than rounder edge phones. Side bristles have also been narrowed compared to the Note 10 Plus and thankfully the display curves are similar to the Note 10 Plus. Samsung reduced it on the Galaxy S20 series and because of that it doesn't look that premium say compared to the Note 10 Plus which by the way is the best looking Samsung phone ever. I barely got any accidental touches on the Note 10 Plus and I'm positive the same will be the case for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as well. Another interesting thing is the back of this phone is glossy. So it seems the frosted matte finish will be limited to the bronze color which is absolutely fine as long as they sell this color variant in all markets and not just limited to a certain markets like they usually do. Selling both matte and glossy variants is a good idea as you can satisfy both parties. Thankfully the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra comes with a color matching stylus that has a silver accent on the click button at the top and aesthetically it looks identical to the previous gen S pens. We still have no idea about the features of the S Pen except it's going to be the fastest stylus on the market with a latency of 9 milliseconds similar to the Apple Pencil. There's also a screenshot of the software version of the device and it reveals the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will ship with One UI version 2.5 based on Android 10. He also says the S Pen as well as the speaker grill has been shifted to the left of the charging port. I guess that's due to this mammoth camera as there isn't much space to put the S Pen over there. While he didn't reveal the camera information, but we know already that it will feature a 108 megapixel primary sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and a 13 megapixel periscope zoom camera along with a laser autofocus module. The screen will be 6.9 inches Quad HD Plus with a 120Hz LTPO display. Jimmy says there will be new S Pen features, which he said he'll reveal it pretty soon. Also he'll share the hands-on video of the Note 20 Ultra and I'll keep you updated once he does, so do consider subscribing for that. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.